Welcome to Mysterious Goings On. We're going to get right to the show after these messages. Hi, this is Michelle Cox. I'm the author of the Henrietta and Inspector Howard series, and you're listening to Mysterious Goings On. Welcome to a special bonus episode of Mysterious Goings On. Uh, you know, I rarely do a bonus episode. Usually uh, we just record and there's a schedule, but then something really big pops up. And as you know, dear listener, if you're a regular listener or if you're a new listener, you may know this. This is a show that is dedicated to uh, creativity, but specifically, we love to support writers. In particular, we like to be very encouraging of new aspiring writers. And it is a tremendously <laughs> daunting thing when you are it's it's a daunting thing when you're just staring down a blank page am i right folks but it's even more daunting once you've got that page going and, and things starting to click and then you start thinking well wait a minute what do i do now well this is why i'm very excited to uh welcome our guest today leanna bruner and she is the head honcho uh, ceo of right central here in kansas city missouri she is dedicated to helping people write well and have uh, a rewarding uh, relationship with the uh, printed word. And so Leanna is going to talk to us about going to the Oasis. And uh, I'm going to let her tell us exactly what uh, this Oasis thing is all about. Leanna, welcome to Mysterious Goings On. Thank you. So all what right. about this Oasis? What are we doing here? We are doing a an online writer's workshop. I'm not sure it's quite big enough to be called a conference, but um, essentially, we're going to have four guest speakers, including Alex, yours truly there, and me, and um, a couple of other speakers who have had experiences publishing, writing their own works. And I know, as Alex said, it's a very daunting process, and it's very scary. And we hear from writers all the time who absolutely have no idea where to start, where to go. And so that's what this Oasis is all about. It's about getting your feet wet, figuring out where you can start, avoiding some of the common mistakes that beginning writers make, um, AKA scams. There's a lot of people out there wanting to scam new writers and take their money. And I've heard from a lot of writers who've had that happen to them. And so this conference is all about education and tools. Um, it's gonna be on a Saturday morning Nobody has to get out of bed, roll out of bed. You can all just log on from your laptop or your phone or your tablet. And um, our speakers are going to share with you for about four hours or so um, on some of the tips that can help you get started. So, yeah, I, it, as you said to me, you know, this is it's going to be a very lively morning and your writers are going to have when you're done with this four hours, you're going to have the, at the very least the beginnings of a step by step plan to begin their writing journey. Is that right, Leanna? That's the hope. Um, and not only hope. that, what at the end of it, what happens um, when you get that finished piece and you're because that for a lot of people, there's different we, we come across different kinds of writers. We have the writer who has this great idea that they just have no idea how to begin. And then we have writers that have this wonderful story in their computer or on paper and they don't know what to do with it. And so the hope is that Oasis will cover both of those bases and help people with both aspects of that journey. Yeah, I, I uh, am thrilled to be part of this. I, as I told you when we first met, um, I think actually we were connected by a dear friend and former guest on the show, Bob Martin, who uh, uh, talked to us about marketing this this uh, this thing. And then um, maybe Bob had mentioned to you that I'd written some things, but um, um, you would ask me if I want to participate. And I, I, I think I told you this, and this is how I feel. I, I don't feel qualified to teach anybody how to write. I really don't. I do feel qualified, though, to explain what happened to me and some of the mistakes I made as I made my journey to publishing eight books. And uh, so that's why I'm excited to talk about scams and talk about the, the, the pitfalls and try to save people a lot of heartache and money um, out there. And uh, so I'll be talking about that, but enough about me. I'd like to, if you don't mind, Leanna, in the time we have today, can we just talk about each 
session and start with yours and just kind of give them a little sneak peek about what we're going to be covering? Sure. I might have to, to cheat here and look at my notes. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> but, you think I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm really versed on what I'm going to be doing. Um, so we're going to start out the morning with my uh, introduction to publishing. And this is hopefully going to be geared more toward self-publishing. But there are some writers out there who want to try their hand at going the traditional route. And so I'm going to be talking about both aspects of it. Um, where to begin if you think you want to go with the traditional route and then versus people that um, are pretty sure they want to self-publish. And so what does that look like? Where do you start? Where do you begin? So mine's going to be this overview of the process and just kind of, again, um, as Alex said, a step-by-step -step approach. Um, and then it's going to be followed up by Alex, um, who's going to talk about the scams that are out there. And, and he brought up something very important and that's everybody on this panel has made these mistakes in a lot of ways. Um, we've yeah. all learned. And so our hope is through this, this Oasis workshop that you as writers will learn from our mistakes so that you don't have to make some of those mistakes. And so um, Alex is gonna be talking about the red alerts and things that to watch out for, for people that send you this email and say, your, your book is the next best thing the world has ever seen. And you can, we can publish it for you for, you know, just this small little price of $10,000, you know, so. <laughs> you, know, you know what, Leanna, I get phone calls from a one particular place and I'm gonna talk about this when, when I do the session. I actually get phone calls from people, these agencies um, that that tracked down my phone number and said, we are very excited about your book. And then of course they mispronounce it. And it's a book that came out uh, eight years ago. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, you're, you're a little behind the times. That That's a pretty old book, but okay. And then I went to their website and see that they charge thousands of dollars because of their high interest in your book. So that's just one of the things I do want to cover. So after me though, um, you get to self-editing with Tiffany White. What's that going to be about? She, um, Tiffany is a local editor and used to be a teacher like me. And so she retired from teaching at a very, very young age and has, now she's a full-time editor pretty much. And so she works with writers on how to look at their books and how to um, kind of walks them through the steps of self-editing before you take it to an editor like her or me or you or um, any other person that offers author services of editing. So she helps her, um, the people in her group, kind of fine tune their book, what to look for, how to, to go through that process of um, making your book as, as quality writing as it can be before you get to the final stage of giving it to an editor or a publisher or an agent even. So, yeah, that's exciting. That's exciting. And the, the batting cleanup on the day is the bane of my existence. Not the person, but book formatting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me about what Les is going to do. What's he all about? Les, again, is all about learning from his mistakes and what's worked for him. So he's going to talk about because people don't really think about this part of the, the process, especially with ebooks and um, e-formatting, that kind of thing. Now it's people think, oh, I just send the document, the Word doc or whatever, and it's great, which is fine if you're working with a publisher that um, is doing e-books or e-formatting. But the print side is a little different. There's a lot of things to consider from even, people don't think about this part of the process, but the interior of the book. Um, you know, you don't just want something that mimics a Word doc, you know, in, in a little glorified with a few page numbers thrown on him. And Les is gonna talk about that, what he does with his books. He's pretty successful as a, a main indie writer and publisher, and he designs his own books. And then he's also gonna talk about cover design and some of the aspects of cover design. Again, people get all excited about that, but they don't really know where to start or how to start. And so he's gonna be working on those aspects. You know, Leanna, when I first started, I had some beautiful book covers in my first three books that were designed by an artist big, big with the KC Art Institute. But guess what? They weren't good book covers. They, they were great art, but not great book covers. Um, you couldn't tell on a little Amazon screen what it was about. You could barely read what the title was. It, and they were self-defeating. They were beautiful. I, I should have blown them up and hung them on my wall, but not put them on the cover of a book, right? So I'm excited to hear from Les about that. And he also, I noticed, there's a product that I used to use. He's going to talk about um, called Scrivener. Um, I used to use it. I found it 
for me, maybe I just wasn't smart enough to use it correctly. I found it a little redundant, so I'm dying to hear what he says about how to use it correctly. Because if, if I figure out how to use it better, I'm gonna, I might go get it again. Right, and that's the beauty of this workshop. It's not one, some one person's experience, you know, because what works for Les may not work for me, may not work for you, but it may work for some writers out there. And that's the beauty of this. Like I think I, I said in the promo. Um, material that I sent out, we have literally a century worth of experience, all of us together. Wow. Um, yeah. And so that's a lot of mistakes. That's a lot of knowledge that in four hours people are going to get if they sign on to this workshop. So, um, but again, what worked for less may not work for me, may not work for you, but again, it might work for somebody out there. And so, and again, the way I do things is going to be a little bit different. I've heard less speak and I've heard Tiffany speak before. Um, haven't heard you speak yet, but I'm sure you're going to do just fine, <laughs> but <laughs> I'll these, try. But these guys, you know, we've all published, um, we've all had the publishing experience. We've all made mistakes. We've had some good and bad things happen um, to us through that journey. And so being able to share that and help other people learn is really what this is all about. That ties directly into Write Central. Can you tell us a little bit about Write Central, which is uh, your company, which is the, the overall umbrella host of this event? Tell us about Write Central. Um, Ray Central is a work in progress is the best way to describe it because we were about ready to launch fully in, in person in a um, location in Gladstone before COVID hit. And so like a lot of other businesses, we kind of had to, as Bob calls it, pivot. And so we had to make some changes into how we were going to get going, get the thing off the ground. And obviously COVID has slowed that process down significantly. So what I have been doing in the interim is creating online writing courses. I'm, I'm a professor. I teach at multiple colleges in the area. So I've, you know, I'm all about teaching, um, obviously. And so I've created some online courses in, in that process while I've been home um, that we're going to hopefully be launching. But Write Central itself is really kind of a one size fits all. I know some people don't like that because they say, well, do you work with authors? Do you work with students? Do you work with businesses? We work with anybody who needs writing help. And that's what sets us apart from, for example, tutoring services that just focus on tutoring high school students or businesses that need a little bit of extra help with their um, website copy or their advertising copy. So we're really focusing on educating people how to write better and how to improve their communication, both for businesses, for in classes, um, and, you know, even like, like this conference is for aspiring authors. So, um, so we kind of are that stop where if you need help with writing, come see us and we'll see what we can do to help you. You know, Leanna, I have another podcast, the PR after hours show. And, and, you know, it just occurred to me that, uh, uh, and I've been cross promoting the event on both of those shows, but uh, it occurs to me though that I got to get you on that show to talk about business writing, um, and because I think that's one thing I hear so much um, in that context uh, from business people is, oh, I'm terrible at writing, I'm terrible at expressing myself. You know, I'm 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 good at you know I'm good at numbers, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. So I think it'd be great um, get you on and talk about uh, business writing and maybe how it it would work to work with a consultant on your writing if you're a business owner. So maybe we can get you on that show down the road. Oh, that would be awesome. Yes, that's a we I work at um, J Johnson County Community College, their writing center. Um, I'm a, an instructor there and we have a lot of people, believe it or not, especially before well before COVID that were business in business. They were CEOs, they were um, leadership in businesses and they would come to us and say, I don't know how to write and I'm getting in trouble. My emails are terrible. I'm going to lose my job. So help me write. And, um, and that's when I started to see a need. It's like, yeah. And we've all heard the joke about, you know, um, commas, you know, the whole let's eat grandma versus let's eat comma <laughs> grandma. And people think it doesn't matter. But then when you think about just having a comma in the wrong place, how that affects the communication. I just had an um, interesting conversation last night with a student and we were talking about the whole, you know, why is writing so important? Because we were, we were reading E.E. E. Cummings, which if anybody's familiar with E.E. E. Cummings, E.E. E. Cummings does not like to use punctuation. He doesn't like to use capital letters. And, and he said, well, he's famous, you know, so why do we need to learn it? And I said, uh. well, you know, the thing is when communication, if it were just a one-way street, if it was just about us communicating, 
wouldn't be an issue, right? We could do whatever we wanted, but we have to keep in mind that there's a receiver of that communication. And if the receiver doesn't understand what we're trying to say, then our, our, our points are mute. You know, it's like, what's the point of, of trying to communicate if they don't understand what we're trying to say. And that's why punctuation is important and being able to write well is important. Yeah, you know, I, I often say texting's magnificent to get get a point across, but it's terrible for writing. <laughs> right, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yep. and if you have to use an emoji to to express your emotion in regular business or just just other writing, not texting, um, that's a problem. So I think that yeah, Leanne, I think it'd be great. I'm going to definitely extend an invitation for that. Uh, get you on PR after hours. I think that'd be great. So as we're wrapping up here, uh, to register, and the links are in the show notes. And if you for some reason, I've heard this lately that in the show notes where you're listening, like on Apple Podcasts or something, sometimes the links get blunted by Apple. Don't worry, just go to mgopod.com and you'll find the show page for this episode and there'll be the registration links and all the links you need to learn more about this. It goes right to um, Leanna's page. Now, the easiest way though, is just to just to get right to it, if you wanna sign up, just go to Write Central. Uh, it's Write Central, R-I-T-E, in Central, just like you'd think, uh, .com, right, uh, right, Leanna? And then everything with else a, is around there with, on the events and stuff. Right, with a hyphen, right, hyphen Central. Yeah. And, oh, okay, and, okay. and then they just click on the events page and there's a link right there. And there's a detailed description of all the speakers and the, the workshops themselves. Well, and I would be remiss if I didn't tell you there is a there is a registration fee, but it's only twenty five dollars. My goodness, that is I mean, think about this. You're getting four hours of of people talking to you who have a century's worth of experience put together. That's a pretty, pretty nice deal. Even my part you might find enjoyable. So, you know, maybe, maybe Leanne is worth, you know, more than me, but I, I might, I might work a buck, buck 50 or something like that, but it all works out. Um, you take, uh, it's credit cards, right? Just pretty easy. Yes. Uh -huh. Online, online payments. So. Yeah. Yes. And I should should tell everybody too, uh, it, it's uh, if you didn't catch on that earlier, it's all you can be in your jimmy jams at home. Um it's on Zoom. It begins at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time. So if you're talking, you know, just uh, adjust accordingly if you're in a different time zone. Uh, you're on Kansas City time, which is the best time to be. But um it again, it starts at 9 a.m. and it will wind up at a one o'clock and you will get once you register all the login information you need before the event. Uh, anything else I'm missing about that, Leanna? I don't think so. So there's, um, th the nice thing is it, it'll be kind of a mini course. So inside the, the um, platform that we're using after, outside of Zoom, there's also gonna be an opportunity to, to connect with other people that are part of the process. Um, any, any notes or anything that, are, that we're gonna need to share with you can be in there. So um, you're gonna have a lot of resources available to you after the event itself um, through that link, so. Yeah. And now this is this is just speculative on my part. And uh, Leanna may say, just shut your mouth, Alex. We don't know that yet. But I, we might do this again in a few months, uh, a different set of speakers and different uh, set of topics. Is that possibility? That's the hope. Yes. Um, different kinds of writing. We might even do one on business writing at some point, Alex. So um, that might be helpful for those that that need that as well. Well, I think that would be great. Leanna Bruner, she is the the founder and boss over at Wright Central, and this is all her brainchild, and I'm honored to be part of it again. Um, it's the Oasis. We want to welcome you to the Oasis. We think it will be a refreshing place for you to go, for you to, you know, you aspiring writers who are tempted to dip your toe in the waters of modern publishing, as I torture a metaphor further. Uh, again, it's on May 1st. Don't know if I even said that. May 1st, 2021. That's a Saturday morning. Get on your jammies. Get a cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is and uh, get ready. Buckle up and learn from some folks, uh, even me, who know some things that will really help you aspiring writers get off the ground. Uh, Leanna Bruner, thanks so much. Uh, any, any final uh, words for everybody? Nope, just come on out and see us and hopefully it will be well worth your while. Thanks so much for listening to Mysterious Goings On. Don't forget we have a complete archive of all of our interviews, monologues, updates, live readings, dead readings. All of that stuff is available at mgopod.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to us so you never miss an episode. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all the usual suspects. Please join us there. Again, don't forget, mgopod.com also has links where to find me on social media and how to get in touch in case you want to be a guest here on the show. 
Well, I think it's time that I move on for this week, but until next time, keep reading.